Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. I want to start by apologizing for the inconsistency of these messages. It's been a little hectic here with Pastor Mark on vacation, and to be honest with you, I've been having a little trouble coming up with content based on our current sermon series on Luther's small catechism. The reason for this is because we're covering the catechism so thoroughly on our Wednesday Bible studies and during our sermons on Sunday that there's a not a lot left new for me to discuss in these devotions each day. So I want to try something new. But first I want to encourage you to join us Wednesday for Bible study. We learn a lot from Luther's small catechism. If you're not getting the invite to that Bible study, just email me at the email I'll leave for you later at the end of this message, and I'll make sure you get added to the list. Also, our sermons from Sunday are always up on our website or on YouTube. I encourage you to listen to them. Luther wrote his catechism so he could teach the fundamentals of the Christian faith, and that got me thinking. So often we have questions about faith that we're afraid to ask, or we don't have the opportunity to ask. So I want to give you that opportunity and use these devotions for a few weeks or however long it takes to answer your questions on the Christian faith. Today I'm going to start with a question I heard during a consultation for a funeral. During this consultation, I mentioned the word hope. And the person who I was talking to was a little bit confused. You see, because the world has a different idea about hope than we do as Christians. When we say hope out in the world, it's like we're saying wish. I hope I get a new car. I hope I win the lottery. I wish. But as Christians, when we say hope, we're talking about something else. Our scripture for today comes from Hebrews, the 10th chapter, starting at the 19th verse. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. The writer of Hebrews talks about hope here. He says, since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. The writer is talking about God's promise the promise of salvation through Jesus Christ, through his sacrifice on the cross. And when the writer talks about hope, he's not talking about wishing. He's talking about knowing. Knowing without a doubt that that promise is assured, that we have it already. That's Christian hope knowing that Jesus' death and resurrection was for us, and because of it, we will know eternal life, that the gospel is ours. We don't wish for it. We know we have it. I hope you have hope that you're confident of these promises, and that that confidence, that hope, gives you peace, gives you strength, gives you comfort. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. 
or if there's anything I can do for you personally, you can reach out to me directly via email at wilson at blcdelmar.com. If you'd like to join our Bible study, just email me directly. And if you have a question about your faith, please email me. Again, it's wilson at blcdelmar.com. I would love to answer that question and help you find comfort and reassurance in God's word. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.